things because I want to be, I want to feel good. Like, you know, there's probably a time there where I was probably higher, but I was like always skewing lighter or like smaller. And now I'm like, fuck it. I want to, I'll have, that's what got, that's why God invented belts. I'll just be a 36. Yeah, fuck it. Space there. Um, finally like updated to like size larges for like shirts and shit like that. But you know, I mean, I don't know. I think like interacting more with my uh, queer friends and queer community and things like that. And you just sort of like see online and like how much big Mm -hmm. belly love there is out there. It's like, yeah, you know, it's so much of all the stuff that is inborn in our our head is like made up and, you know, we'll see someone that looks exactly like us and then we're like, Oh, they're hot. But then when you see yourself in the mirror, it's like, well, I mean, I'm different. I got this. I got that. So isn't that the worst thing though? When you're yeah! like, that's the fucking hot version of me. <laughs> What's the different? Like, well, he has on suspenders, and I don't own <laughs> suspenders. I bet. <laughs> and if I did, I'd do it wrong. So I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> in my brain, I'm always just like, I love girls with thick thighs, big ass, and then I'm just like, why can't I have a thigh gap? Like, yeah. why isn't that real for me? <laughs> <laughs> It's just like it doesn't translate to me. You yeah. know, I feel like I don't have I don't have a body dysmorphia, but every once in a while I'll like do something and like flex in a way where I can see a muscle. And then I'm like thinking about how much content of me that there is between the muscle and the skin. And I'm like, there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. And like <laughs> I mean, I as a content creator. The content mm. is is good, I guess. Yeah, but... you want more content. <laughs> yes, all yes. 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 <laughs> you more content. I am content. Yeah. Hello, everyone in stream. I hope you're doing well. I hope Welcome. you're looking Hello. in the mirror and realizing you're all very attractive, and that if you have any faults, it's not faults. I am it's Tim. Just a little. No. Uh, <laughs> it's just a little bit of um, footnotes on your body's personality. I don't know what that means. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, can you flex on stream for us? <laughs> don't put that on me. Come on. Oh. I don't have a 4K camera, so. <laughs> yeah, break. I will reveal my haircut. Ah, I shaved my head. Hell I yeah. Shaved. It looks good. Me and Pat are opposites now. Yeah. Mug, oh, yeah. mug for us. You did that. Yeah, you sent us like yeah. an angry selfie, and it was like, that's a that's a tough guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how how are the the my my hell crew doing on this fine day? So good. I'm awake. Very good, I still Tim. don't know what to do with this. Mm-hmm. I love your hair. I love, I love it. it. It's good. You can tell when I pulled into chat, I was like just getting on my coffee, and now I'm a little. So apologies <laughs> yeah. to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> the the Beyond thing is showing up on the Twitch for me again. Uh, what? The D D Beyond thing? Yeah. There's like a Twitch extension, I guess, that we've had on the stream. Yeah. And it like disappeared yeah. for a long time, and now it's back. Wait, oh hell yeah! Because we sometimes will leave it up for every single other stream <laughs> on accident, um, oh, yeah. and more importantly on uh, Gapcast, where we don't have we don't share our characters because well, <laughs> uh, that would be miserable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know this is a little more open, right? Uh, situations and when we first started, everyone said it'd be fine. You can't see Beef's unfortunately because Beef has his his fancy uh, Patreon um, PDF. OnlyFans. Only fa- yeah. <laughs> Give to beef, only fans. Only fans. Yeah. beef is on OnlyFans. Uh... The beef is premium. <laughs> Wagyu beef. Wag- yeah. <laughs> Wagyu. Only Wagyu. Uh, Chaos I mean, I'm great, Kilgore. Tim. I am um, not entirely recovered, but what are you gonna, I'll, whatever. Uh, what are you saying, Pat? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm saying I'm great. I've got my smooth, yet robust, perfectly brewed. Stoke cold brew. Oh my gosh. Wait for the mm. merch. There it is. There wow. it is. Tastes like yeah. a beautiful morning. Mm. I don't Did know it. if everyone saw, but Stoke finally replied to Pat. So we're getting there. Is we're that the first there. time? Not the first time? Okay. No. Okay. All right. We just got to keep, don't, as we, you know, don't bother them. But if you did want to yeah. say, like, if you went to one of your monthly grocery store jaunts, you know, take a picture of your mask, social distancing. So the stoke that you're buying um and uh, tag you know us that would be great yeah that'd be helpful if you yeah. buy it if you like cold brew and you sell your store try it and if you try it take a selfie of it and tweet at stoke cold brew and say that you found about about it at geekly 
Pat yeah. is hustling yeah, trying to be really brand hustling. ambassador. Well, I mean, yes. I legitimately love it, and they have interacted. The first time was because uh, I had three bottles of it in my fridge, and I took a picture of it to show them. <laughs> How much you uh, love it? They're pretty chill, yeah. It, not going to lie, your your enjoyment of it does make me want to try it, so it's effective. <laughs> Their intern's, like, logging on to Twitter and being like, oh, it's Pat again. Yes. <laughs> oh, <I see. laughs> well, I mean... Uh, if we lev- leverage the gap cast, you know, energy and then be like, oh, but this is for the other thing. Um, you know, we can kind of obfuscate it a little bit, right? And then, you know, the the hundreds of thousands of uniques that you could get from gap cast and the hundreds from here, you know. Stoke, we'll just maximize your, your throughput and your diversified channels is what I'm trying to say to you right exactly. now. Mm-hmm. Feel the synergy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I, as we started, I tweeted a picture of me drinking it at them and Tag Geekly and Stokes. And, you know, ready to go live on Geekly uh, and Twitch with my Stoke. Yeah. Tag yes. D&D podcast too, because we have a lot more Twitter followers there. Speaking of thousands, I did just want to take the opportunity oh. to congratulate the, the thousands of dollars raised on that 24-hour yes. yes. thing. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dope. Uh, yeah, that was a lot. I was yeah. really impressed. I want to thank everyone who donated and uh, donated their time. Thanks again to Kim for uh, running us through that amazing uh, Naruto RPG. Uh, that was great. We raised over thirteen thousand dollars. I don't know if the total is right now, but it's hot. That's so wild. Like I, amazing. I would have never thought it would not like. Yeah, I would just because of like the times we're in. I thought yeah. it would have been a lot more like restricted with their money but like my god <laughs> yeah we always uh set the goal to lower than what we think we'll get this year we extremely were like let's set it for six thousand and be very thankful if we get six thousand and we were kind of um stuck i guess you'd say at the nine and ten thousand which is <laughs> using a negative term like stuck is kind of shitty but uh you know you, you kind of get to the point when you when you have a community, right, where there's like, no matter what we do, if we put any energy into it, it like X, Y, Z is going to happen. We've seen it for yeah. Kickstarters. We've seen it for different Patreons. We've seen it for this, that, and the other thing. And so it's like, all right, if we do the basic stuff, X amount will happen. And we always kind of know, you know, it's not exponential. It's not a, it's, it, it can level off. So we kind of felt like, okay, where we are right now, we're about at a $10,000 to $11,000 charity organization, which is an amazing thing, uh, especially because we, we hit it so quickly. Um, and then uh, now, <laughs> during a, a worldwide pandemic, or I guess a pandemic, I guess that's what, what a pandemic means, yeah. uh, um, we raised $13,304, <laughs> all for oh. the Trevor Project. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's wild. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, speaking of hell, um, (laughs) we should get into it. Let's um, go around and say who you're playing. um, And if you have anything fun for level seven, you can let us know. Or if you want to save any of your bells and whistles, feel free to not tell us whatever y'all feel like. Hell yeah. Did I get anything for level seven? I don't remember. Yeah, right? (laughs) Kim, do you want oh, to go? My name is Kim, and I play a uh, tiefling artificer, Karloff. And for level seven, this is something that I got that's going to be very handy, I believe. Uh, it's called Flash of Genius. When you are another creature, you can see within 30 feet of you, makes an ability check or a saving throw. You can use your reaction to add plus three to the roll. And I can use it three times per long rest. What? So, yeah. That rules. So, what are you again? An artificer? Artificer, yeah. I was just part of the class. I was that just rules. like, oh, shit. Oh, you just get that. <laughs> yeah, I just get that. That's dope. Um, I am playing Beef Johnson, uh, Palace Guard, City Guard. Uh, and uh, for level seven, um, I forgot to add my hit points. But for level <laughs> seven, uh, I go. am getting Fire Shield, a new Ooh. spell that will allow me to cast a shield made of flames, but protects me from flames. Well, why would you do that? You think there's going to be fires in hell? <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, beef, the beef was built to die, uh, and <laughs> so now I'm trying to build him to live. <laughs> so my breath weapon is pretty much going to be useless from here on out, ain't it? <laughs> Yeah, no, Ooh. maybe I don't know. I mean, I have the fear option where I can do a dragon fear instead of yeah, 
breath. Yeah, but you guys are getting so powerful now that using a single action to do like a thing, or especially for you fighter, you know, yeah. like, what do you mean of sacrificing two attacks with magic yeah. weapons and stuff like that? Yeah. <clears throat> Lit. Lit. Well, I mean, I might be sacrificing attacks, Tim, because uh -oh. two swords might be discovering another side of himself uh -oh. a, a creative side uh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. poetic uh -oh. side maybe a little a little bit of a musical side as we traverse you know uh oh oh shit hell yeah so exciting are you are mm -hmm. you gonna Say, oh, yeah, going to he's a barbarian. No, yeah, I, I it's bard. I took a level and then bard. Because <laughs> <Woo! laughs> I need I need because yeah. I couldn't, I don't have enough. What's the one wisdom to go clear? Uh, <laughs> I really thought you could say, yeah, I went barbarian, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. Josh and I have just been messaging the entire week about how to RP it, and then I completely throw it out the window and did something else. No. <laughs> I'm verse, I listen, I'm switch, I can do whatever, I'm <laughs> flexible. You know, yep. those are my, <laughs> my high school talent. Um, I'm Josh. I'm playing Nash. Uh, and my fun things that I got for level seven was that I traded out a spell. I got a new spell. And they are, I don't know how often I'm going to use them. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I got a sweet. I'm just going to start knocking people over now just for just for two swords. Hell, yeah. Yeah. Down. Prone, oh yeah, I'm just gonna. Action? Yeah, I'm gonna just prone the shit out of everything I get my hands on. Cool. Take it to the prone zone. Prone zone. <laughs> yeah, prone zone. I'm a warlock. If that wasn't clear. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. Uh. Two swords. What did we do last week on the Happy Hell Hour presents Descent into Avernus and of course Why I'm Tim. Well, because you're the diary, man. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, yeah, that's been that's that's your bard trait, probably, right? Is that you've been uh, codifying yeah. the thing, and as you're doing, as you're like on uh, hell's surface now, like there's some magic infused to um, mm -hmm. um, being a chronicler. I think that's, that's a very I cool yeah. way to. Don't make me rhyme these every week, Tim. No, absolutely not. I'm a vocal uh, meme barb. Uh, bard hater um, and a lover of alternative bards out there. Uh, so uh, whatever mm -hmm. you want to do, I support. I support it. I trust you as a player and as a person and as a friend. But I, I think it'll be some trial and error of what the RP of that will be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, <clears throat> dear diary, how are you? Me? I'm great. Uh, well, it was finally time to get the heck out of Elterrail and find Fort Knuckleborn down in Avernus proper. After lots of uh, careful strategizing, we made it a super prudent and totally smart decision to build a hang glider out of stuff we found lying around. <laughs> uh, as we was looking for the best spot to literally leap off of the 500 foot high floating city, Zariel's Flying Fortress showed up. I really wanted to go there because, you know, my whole unhealthy obsession with killing Zariel and whatnot. <laughs> uh, but the group decided we should stay the course, so to speak. Good news was the fortress pulled a bunch of demons away from one side of the city. So we ran and jumped and flew through the air. We did really cool skill type stuff to avoid some devil bug swarms. And then some devil vulture jerks tried to peck us to death, but we avoided them and managed to land the glider. Well... Land may not be the best word. We may have done a little light, light crashing to land. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I feel different. Uh, a little stronger, maybe. Like, maybe I can do things I couldn't do before. I can't explain it. I wonder if <laughs> others feel this way. Uh, anyway, I think we got a long uh, walk ahead of us, diary. So, bye-bye. Uh, I love you. Yay! Yeah. Yay! 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 Um... All right, so you are um, making your way, uh, being led by Lulu the Holy Font, who uh, is a mix of more afraid, but a little more cheerful or maybe hopeful now that she seems to have a thread of her lost uh, or missing memories, I guess, um, uh, as she leads you in the direction from what she can tell 
uh, is to Fort Knuckle Bone. It's about a 10 mile jaunt as you go along. Um, the sand um, beneath you is uh, packed deep with bits of uh, uh, here and there, uh, rusted armor, maybe uh, huge piles of, of bones that are just being picked over. You kind of pass by one and then a few lazy looking um, uh, hell <laughs> cursed vultures who aren't vrocks even though they look exactly like them kind of <laughs> lazily stare up at you look at each other and then pull of extreme jungle book vibe and shrug and go back to kind of picking through this huge pile of dead um bodies you'd assume uh the the uh features of avernus are quite uh shitty um it's hot right um as soon as you sort of feel like okay i'm starting to get used to this heat um even though there's like clouds compl- obscuring everything and like bits of lightning flashing and then you kind of look in another direction and there's no clouds at all but the sky is it's the exact same color there's no rays of light coming down uh the closest you get to at one point after going about a mile or two is you think you see um a bright shining light of of maybe the sun here shining through and then it just turns out to be uh, a meteor crashing in (laughs) so probably like 500 feet from you to see this huge explosion uh as it just crashes in the earth and you feel the shake a little bit uh the (laughs) at the worst possible moments, maybe when you are going to um, drink your canteen, almost like the features of Avernus itself understand that you are just about to open your damn mouth, wind kicks up and every single time, without fail, it will come up from different directions at the same time. It does not matter. You get sand in your mouth, and then you you get a little bit of sand in the canteen over and over and over again. This place kind of sucks. This place sucks so much. (laughs) (laughs) Hate it. Eat sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. <laughs> I mean, when I was a kid, I used to eat sand. This is, this is actually some nice memories. Uh, <laughs> did anyone bring oh. baby powder to get the sand off? <laughs> <laughs> does that work? Yes, it does. Oh, did. No, I only got lotion because my scales get dry. But I feel like that's like makes it worse because then the sand sticks to the lotion. The sand sticks to the lotion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Could be a good exfoliant, though, if you think about it, if you mix the sand with the lotion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's been sticking to you a lot. You kind of have, like, a camo thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> it might, yeah, I bet Two Swords looks pretty fucking cool. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I look yes. like my cousin. He's a sand scale. He's, got, he's, got, he, he's, he's bronze. He hangs out by the beach. He's one of the monk types. His name's <laughs> Bodie. Bodie? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, uh, everyone give me a constitution saving throw, please. Uh, no. you got my expression. Oh, yeah, let's just, let me go here. Okay, okay. Yep, go. Congratulations, you've discovered Beef's worst saving throw. <laughs> oh, no! Is it constitution? Yeah, if you, tell me Oof. if you get beneath a 12. Oh, uh, heck yeah. Uh, if you no. get really high, you know, gloat, for sure, but, uh, really I got high. Got yeah. <laughs> I got 15. Okay. Beef is in trouble. Uh, okay. Invincible. Uh, Karloff is also in trouble. Okay. Um, Karloff Shit. and Beef, you now are going to suffer one point of exhaustion. Let me send oh, you. Oh, no. No. I can never uh, find exhaustion. In... This is supposed to be an can escape reality. Can I remove curse reality? Reality? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So f- for the next, until you get it back, uh, you have disability on ability checks. So. <gasps> Let me show you the table via the chat, which I left today out of spite, but you guys let me. I appreciate it. Why, Tim? I don't understand. I'm not bringing it up. Not bringing it up. (laughs) I mean, you should, if you have an issue, you should bring it to the surface. You shouldn't let it brew beneath. Oh my God. We were watching um, uh, uh, the pussy flower. Sorry. Uh, there's a hellflower going on the net. Uh, I guess you can Google. <laughs> was it like Fiona Shrek or something? Like that? Uh, sorry, focus. What was I saying? I don't remember at all. 
I didn't click on the link Josh sent because he said no one but Justin to do it. So I listened to his request like a good friend. It's nature. I said Tim could look at it. Tim and Tim could also look at it. I, I it saw it. It is beautiful, yeah. you guys. Um, what was it saying? Oh, yeah. So yeah, you. I was probably going to say something else, but now I'm going to reiterate. You have one oh. bit of exhaustion as you kind of are, are trudging along. Um, it feels uphill, even though it appears to be sloping downhill. Um, there's a few times as you're going along that you sort of slip um, down into like a little bit of sand duny type stuff. And you don't take any damage, but you get some, you know, RP ouchies as you like cut yourself on some rusted... Uh, metal from probably uh, a campaign 10,000 years ago between uh, devils and demons here. Um, but as you go along, uh, you, you aren't um, uh, uh, bothered, if that makes sense. You know, one of the benefits here it, <laughs> to hell, right, is it's a, an expanse of desolation, uh, meaning that uh, you don't always see other creatures here, which uh, in y'all's state, you guys are pretty fine right now, but if you uh, got in a uh, a tussle, you'd be fine for, for most things here. But for the, for the most part, that, that's going to be a good thing since you sort of have your... Uh, quest, you know what you're doing, and you're sort of for the first time, and maybe the last time, you'll be making a beeline to where you're going. Um, anything else you guys want to do before we, you arrive? Any um, this, that, and the other thing? I got a fun thing I want to do. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna scuttle over to our buddy Two Swords. And... Hey, Nash, how's it going there, brother? Hey, buddy. Um, so, you guys were to check in on you, because you know. Um, all of your original homies aren't here. Um, <laughs> oh, I love that part in campaigns. You realize, like, wait, <laughs> there's only one of the original crew left. <laughs> right. It's like the ship of thieves or ship of Theseus, something Theseus. like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like Pesha got s snatched. snatched. Tico's. Uh, are you saying you know. this in character? Are you recounting the way my friends uh, died yeah. and were departed <laughs> oh, for sure. in character? For sure. Like super common. <laughs> Thank you. For like, like, just Thank like, you. Pesha got snatched away, and that's why we're here, hopefully, to get her back. Tico is off having his own adventure, maybe to power up. Um, and then Saren and Rhea were like, mm, no. That so um, are you all good? Are you all right? Do you want to talk about it? Do you need a hug? Yeah. Uh, well, his big smile kind of like melts away real quick. Not like no, he's actually sad, but like almost like the smile that's perpetually there was kind of is kind of almost like a mask that he just takes off real quick. He just kind of like I am tagging uh, this photo and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a moment. Like, uh, yeah, 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 Nash. I know. I'm very aware. Uh, yeah. Try not to dwell on it too much. Uh, just try to keep moving forward. Stay focused on the goal. It's uh, not the first time I've been I've been here. Well, first time I've been here in hell. Uh, but you know, uh, not the first time I've been last dragon standing, so to speak. So, yeah, yeah. But appreciate you, brother. I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm gonna in part here. <laughs> I'm going to part some advice that my grandma taught me when I was uh, a young pup. Uh, she always used to say, um, take it easy, but take it. <laughs> that is to say, we're in hell, and all of the junk here is probably going to start preying on our greatest fears and weaknesses. So deal with the thing, but be kind to yourself while dealing with it. Aww. Okay. Appreciate that. Yeah, I plan that on dealing with it. Advice. <laughs> plan on dealing with it by putting this year's sword uh, through his Ariel's chest. <laughs> so yeah, Beef, Beef overheard this conversation from like off to the side, and he goes, "Yeah, man, I, I feel you. All my friends are dead too." <laughs> oh. Cool. Sometimes murder can be therapy if you think Sometimes about it. Sometimes murder can be therapy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the cool parts when they announced this adventure is like, finally, lawful good 
uh, uh, characters can go fucking ham because everyone here yeah. sucks. It's like evil. Yeah. You know? so, kill everybody. Kill them. <laughs> Karloff is just being carried by a bear. She has. She's in her little baby Bjorn, and she's just like whining and yeah. like <laughs> under her breath. Like it's not words you can understand, but it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> We're technically in Florida right now, so yes. I'm I'm IRL living this life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, <laughs> I like the idea of them pitching, like, all right, there's going to be mosquitoes and horrible reptiles, and then the person from Florida in the Wizards of the Coast office was like, actually, can we dial this up a little bit? This <laughs> sounds like six months of my life a year. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh, yeah. is the final boss of this campaign going to be Florida Man? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yes! zero gives me Florida Man energy. <laughs> okay, I need to write something down. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Shows up on a fan boat, like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean. <laughs> Continue to talk much yourself. I have to... Zariel's wearing. We meet Zariel. She's wearing like a floor print short sleeve button up shirt and like yes. neon sunglasses. Yeah, <laughs> she's a helmet made flip of a natty ice. You got flip flops. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she's it's not beer a little funnel, bit of shaped natty ice. Read it online. <laughs> beer funnel in one hand, flaming yes. sword in the other hand. This is very good. Uh, I'm going to leave two swords with a. a gentle and friendly uh, hyena shifter style face nuzzle to the arm. Oh, oh, um, Nash, get uh, inspiration if you didn't already have it. <gasps> Yay! That beautiful bit of of role play. And you know, uh, like, two will. swords for I'm gonna put my arm. Self. You too, buddy. I'm going to put my arm around him. Like, Thanks, brother. Glad you're with us. Yeah. Me I... too. I watched, we're watching um, a BTS documentary about their tour in 2017. And yeah. the episode that we got to Jen and V got in a fight and just seeing them sort of patch it up together. And uh, it was kind of like fun from a, uh, it's fun as a D and D content creator to, to sort of like loop everything back into D and D. And it's like, yeah, you know, these people f are together all the fucking time. And you can have to imagine that like some of these D and D partners are like, well, it took us a month to get to the dungeon, and then it took us a week in the dungeon, and then it took us a month to get out of the dungeon, and we've just been together <laughs> on top of each other, and literally <laughs> relying <laughs> on each other. So yeah, we're gonna fight sometimes because it's <laughs> here. Yeah. Sometimes they don't like the way I crunch the bones and drink the marrow out of it. <laughs> but that's just what hyenas do. Like, what do you want? <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a society. You need to share the marrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, two swords, do you have to speak out loud as you write in your diary? <laughs> <laughs> Karloff is lactose intolerant, but she cannot stop drinking milk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the <laughs> she has terrible gas. Everyone is sick of her. <laughs> <laughs> I just got hit with this this image of Two Swords not actually having a real diary, and he's just talking to himself while we've been walking. <laughs> yeah, he looks over and he's like holding his hands. There's no book. Her there. diary is a person only I can see. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what it is. This whole time. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, I don't know how long it would take you to go ten miles but you do it it's, it takes a little bit of time uh a time that we all agree is an appropriate amount of time tim uh, did we have a time in that time to roll a hit die r refresh because i think i left last session low no you did not unless you tell me to you can you can do that but then i'll have to roll some some other dice and that's fine with me too because i love it i love it we're not doing the video game i was you bad. level up you like restore yourself yeah i mean i should Deal. do that but Ooh, that you know cool. it's up to you guys really if you were yeah, I've been playing, I mean, self. I like that. I've been playing a lot of Diablo, and when I level up in Diablo, uh, all the enemies around me die. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. Don't they like uh, you like some big explosion? Yeah, you just, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. I can dig it. Uh, if you want to take a short rest, you can do that. Um, it's, I will need a survival check to find a, a place to do it appropriately, and then. Uh, some people that are completely on guard to the extent that they do not get to take a short rest because hell. Does anyone um, else need hit points or is yes, it? Yes, I could, I could use a little, 
a little okay. sip of that <laughs> point okay. juice. I got you. Listen, I will do this thing. I'm going to shift, okay. give myself advantage on survival checks. Okay. I'm going to do the survival check for everybody. What did we get? Um, that is a... Fifteen total. Okay. Uh, you go for a little bit of time, and it looks like you're never going to find anywhere to rest as both Beef and Karloff are just like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> We're trying to deliver that pad tie. <laughs> Stop it, David. Is it our... Oh, it's FedEx. Oh, she better hurry. <laughs> <laughs> she better hurry. Our door buzzer doesn't work, so we have to sprint down five flights of stairs to. Oh shit! Oh, oh dang! So probably wants to like open the window. I'm like, she coming? But I will not. <laughs> uh, you, eventually, <laughs> you eventually find um, a uh, a little bit of a hill, sort of that. Uh, when you're kind of walking, you just don't see anything. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. But as you look down, uh, you realize you're two steps away from falling down probably a 30-foot cliff. Um, oh, shit. Uh, which was completely uh, uh, invisible to you two seconds before. But uh, you're able to find a, a safe-ish way down, and you're able to kind of uh, get into one of the ridges there on the bottom of the um, uh, cliff, sort of out of the way of most of the elements. Um, uh, 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 Breath of the Wild style and kind of hunker down there in a corner. Uh, it's not perfect, right? Because occasionally you're still buffeted, but comparatively, you know, it's better. So, you, yeah, you're able to you you find a place where you can be somewhat safe. Um, now, who is going to give me perception checks for being on guard? And you said the person who's on guard doesn't take the short rest? Correct, because this is, uh, sometimes you can I assume for short rest you can have a more chill depending on where you are. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't really know what the, what, the, what the rules have as written are for that, but this is you guys are in a you're in quite the uh, space right now. So yeah. Bear can post up because he doesn't need to sleep or rest. Okay, he can help. Okay. Well, before so is anyone after the rest not going to be at full hit points? I, I, do, I can I can burn a. I will easily be at full hit points. Yeah. Because I'm only like a little bit off. How's beef? Is beef gonna be at full hit points? <laughs> I don't remember. How, I always remember beef being KO'd that one time, and now I don't know how to face so much HP. Yet. Listen, beef has a constitution modifier of zero, so when I level up, I get four more hit points. I'm so, I'm, so that's what I'm asking behind. before we take the rest. <laughs> Before we take the before we take the rest, um, will you be at hit points? Will the rest get you to full, or no? Will you still be down a few? I'll be like down one, probably. Oh. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay. I'm just gonna use my hit dice. Okay. All right. I mean, I can. I get my spell. I get. This is new to me. I get spell slots back after a uh, rest, right? The pin. Sometimes it's long, sometimes it's short. Yeah. Like I get a double check. Pretty sure it's long for everything oh. except for warlocks. Okay. Yeah, I get my after short, which is yeah, lit, but I only get two of them. Yeah. For a very long time. Man, that was a good guess. I am down exactly one. Nice. Okay, so we're taking a short rest. Yeah, who's giving me my perception checks? Uh, uh, I don't. I, I don't have great perception, but I'm. I can do it. Okay. I can give you one for bear as well. Oh, I don't see shit. <laughs> Should have been beef. <laughs> Bears is 19. Okay. Uh, Nash, are you also doing it? Um, No, because I was going to use, I was going to take the short rest. Okay, perfect. Just wanted to double check. Uh, okay, yeah, you're, you kind of chill for a little bit. You're going, you're going, you're going. Uh, and uh, you sort of see shimmering out in the distance two swords, a, um, a creature who looks to be, I don't know, uh, six feet tall wearing armor um, running at you. 
it's like Monty Python and the Holy Grail with the guard <laughs> at the wedding and it's just running across. We're just like, I'm just like, well, because I rolled a two. Uh-huh. So I, I'm just like, so it's drums. And <laughs> I'm just like, hmm. Is running closer? Hmm. You just look over a bear and then bear looks at you and shrugs his, his mm. robot shoulders. <laughs> no, so I guess you, I do see this person though. Yes. Uh, I'll say, uh, they're just by themselves. Yes. They look like they have dark armor on. And they're just, like, just running at us by themselves. Yes. All right. Well, I'll draw my swords and I won't wake the others. Is this how far into the rest that they're resting or whatever? I think 20... the short rest only lasts like an hour, I yeah, think. Yeah. So this yeah. is 29 minutes. And now 30. So they're right in the middle. They're just getting in their REM yep. cycle <laughs> of their sleep. I'll let them sleep. For a minute and kind of start walking towards swords out sort of walking towards the guy um is he within kind of shouting distance or uh, he or she are they within they, shouting distance uh depends on how loud you shout it seems like the wind yeah, has picked want... up a little bit and it, they are slightly obscured both by some uh heaty waves and some mm-hmm. um you know uh, uh old west style <sighs> I'll kind of hold yeah. uh, hold both swords out, and I'll kind of like stretch my arms out wide to the sides, mm-hmm. and just kind of do like like uh, the guys at airports waving the orange cones, <laughs> okay. kind of waving them around. Okay. Like, yeah, your like, your swords don't like. Glow hey, what's going on? In a mechanical. No, way, I, I'm not, I didn't mean the glow. They, I'm just kind of like, hey, a... I see you. What right. are you doing? Well, kind of. Yeah, like... that, like, they don't glow in a mechanical way. Like if it's dark, you can't yeah. see it, but they definitely glow in like, aren't I cool? <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, they uh, they stop and noticing you. And then you see them pull out one of those long, big katanas. You know what I'm saying? That are inside. Naginata? No, no, that's spear. Uh, no. It's like a take a katana, and it's big. Like do times two. It's big. And like Sephiroth. Yeah, like, like Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> and it's sort of like glowing orange up the hilt of it. And even from as far away, you're probably like 150 feet away, maybe. Um, you can see uh, like glowing infernal runes going up, and uh, they point at you. And it looks like their their sword is glowing more and more. Odachi, thank you. Oh. They it's pointed like, at me. Yeah, and it's like glowing. The space ball's lightsaber, it just keeps going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, <laughs> Goku's extendo stick, but it's an Odachi. I kind of like shrug and I'll put like stick one sword in the ground real quick and just kind of wave up. Just kind of do like wait, just kind of like come on, man. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> you, you see uh, them kind of uh, go forward and then they take their huge odachi in the ground and make a glowing line in front of them and then they do it back to you charging you in a dual well, sense and kind of go back in that uh, samurai stance um, where they have the sword on the shoulder pointing forward this is important the direction we are headed as a party uh-huh. where are they in relation to that uh, the way that I'm imagining it is that you guys were following Lulu and then Nash and Lulu sort of went up forward and like on the path you were going um, was the cliff down and you guys okay. so all, all that to say is he they are uh, between you and what you assume is Fort Knucklebone you could probably go around but um, definitely challenging you if I wake them up does that fuck up mechanically their rest well, yeah because they'll have to they'll go from chilling to like, being extremely on but, you know, it's it's a short rest, not a long rest. So mechanically, you just have to wait another half hour. Okay. But who knows um, what could happen then? I'll just hold my hand. <laughs> hold my hands up. I'll do a, a three zero, like 30 minutes. I'll kind of like, I'll kinda like whisper <laughs> yell. I'll kind of whisper like, give me 30 minutes. All right. Uh, give me... Out. Give Three me hours. some sort of charisma based role, whether it's intimidation, <laughs> whether it's persuasion, deception. You, performance? Uh, sure. That's charisma. Is a duel not, not a performance in its own way? You're just going to stand true. there for nine episodes with your hands in the air. <laughs> <bomb>. <laughs> that is a 14. What'd you get? Sorry, I was talking about. 14. 14. 
All right. Uh, let me do an opposed because that's fun to do. Ass well. <laughs> Ass well. Oh, natural twenty. What up? You oh, failed. Shit. Oh, that sucks oh, for no, you. No. And it was. I, this is a perfect Avernus roll because I used my dice tower. It fell out of my dice tower, and I shit you not, <laughs> most of it was about to fall off my desk. And if I would have shifted my desk at all, or if Jennifer would have walked in at, at that time, or if one of our, our beefy cats did anything, it would have fallen and knocked into natural 20. Uh, so not only that is uh, what what would be uh, disrespectful to two swords in this instance? What would this um black armored orange glowing sort of uh desert samurai what would be disrespectful to you um i mean any rude gesture would be disrespectful okay. um uh if you started like doing a what's what's the movie about sword fighters where the guy starts like pissing from across the battlefield he just, he just lemon parties you <laughs> <laughs> Or you mean goats? <laughs> goats. Hey, I thought Lemon Party was something different. <laughs> I thought Lemon Party was um, a couple of old gentlemen. Yes, <laughs> yes. Couple, none of this. That's yeah. 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 Wasn't it goatsy? Is that what you're thinking of? Or the... Don't Google that either. I don't know. Does that website still work? Lemon Party. Don't go there. I don't don't Google it. Stop. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. 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 Okay. This is a well, screen. if they're watching, there go our Stoke sponsorship opportunities. <laughs> bye bye. Nice well, knowing you. What three elderly gentlemen do with themselves, their their hands and their buttholes is up to them. Um, uh, uh, yeah, he he probably turns his back, and even though it's still so far away, you can uh, he kind of uh, just like squats down, pull and hikes da like down um, their uh, uh, armor in a weird way, and. Uh, just starts uses... gripping the donut with two hands. <laughs> no, 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 it does not do that. <laughs> no, no, oh no. Uh, and uh, then you see them sort of like, um, just like <laughs> brew tea uh, and, you know, take out their sending stone. Like, yeah, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, everything's fine. You know, testing, <laughs> getting a few rounds of Candy Crush Saga in as <laughs> you are just getting dominated uh, <laughs> fighterly. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. Like, rude. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what would be ruder? I'm talking to Bear. <laughs> it's like, it kind of creaks its head to look at you. Yeah. You know what would be even ruder, Bear? If I woke up my friends while they were napping. <laughs> so, I'm going to go kill that rude gentleman or gentle lady or gentle person. I'm going to wait, though, till my friends is awake. <laughs> Bear gives you a thumbs up okay. and a nod. <laughs> I'll kind of step forward to be like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. So you're probably chilling with Bear for another 10 minutes as um, this warrior keeps taunting you, uh, 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 getting more and more erratic, more and more uh, desperate uh to battle you um you can kind of see you now a little bit through um some of the shifting winds and and um uh, sands <coughs> that they wanted to fight you here because it, it seems to be a good bit of solid ground around a little bit of a deserty sand so uh that seems to be why they didn't want to approach you because they have not the high ground that's a meme but they have the firm ground and that's in the bible and we do like mm -hmm. that um, <laughs> you don't turn... build your house yeah it's where you want to build your house exactly on the farm yeah uh you turn over to um uh bear and be like can you believe this joker and then when you look back they're just gone on the final minute that it was the oh. short rest as maybe nash trudges up and is like what's up does it oh oh man okay well there was a person uh, uh, out there that was making rude gestures, and I think they wanted me to fight them, but I didn't want to go. I mean, I would have fought them by myself, but I wanted y'all to know, but I didn't want to wake y'all up. So I was waiting until y'all woke up, but they ran away. I'm going to take this as a moral victory that they were just got scared of me, and they just took another second to uh, see how big and strong and muscly I am. And... I think they got scared. So I'm going to chalk that up. That being said, 
you got good senses, Nash. You keep keep them peeled. Keep your noses and your eyes and your ears is peeled for a person in dark armor with a long, long. It was like it was excessively long. I would say, so okay. like almost like what are you trying to prove? You know, <laughs> it's an anime these days. You never know. Uh, but uh, you're kind of describing oh yeah, the, the armor. Is, there, is, there, is the glowing line still in the sand? As you guys continue forward, it is not. Oh. Ooh. In fact, there's no pee pee, there's no poo poo, there's no tea, <laughs> there's no anything. No donut remnants. No donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. He was like, they were like right here. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Y'all, but yeah, hey, just so you know, if it I'm happened, sure you saw something like okay. this out here. Don't I'm sure I know that tone. <laughs> okay. Listen, I might have to prove a point next time we take a rest. If I'm doing watch, if they show up again, I'm gonna fight them. So <laughs> I hope y'all are last sleepers. Dang it, maybe miss something cool. Well, I hope you don't like. Uh, plus two magic items. So, um, Ding. just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> you guys have missed a plus two magic item. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, it's not fun. It was in a foolish place that I thought was silly. But like I said before, I gave instead of giving you one magic item, I just gave you guys all magic items. So it, it works out in the end. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. And your in your cloaks and shit like that, which I, um, yeah. Or over there. Here, is what we'll do. Next time we rest. I'll sleep. Someone else do watch. If weird warrior in dark armor shows up, wake me up because I call dibs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, but bear, bear can't talk. <laughs> bear, bear, bear saw, awake. bear saw it. Karloff can bear talk. Can bear communicate with you? That's a good question. <clears throat> can, can bear communicate? That was also my question. Would Bear be able to, to take a watch at all uh, decently? It's always, a, it's always a tough thing for uh, basic familiars and constructs and things like that. But, you know, I think it, it's within the uh, spirit of the idea of the thing. Yeah, because he has a uh, vigilant, which means he can't be surprised, which is nice when you're putting somebody on duty and he has a plus five to perception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if I just like combine that with alarm, maybe I don't know. Yeah, uh, as you just kind of bear starts going like whoop whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of the, yeah. of the glowing like night. Carl. Um, uh, Karloff, bear is communicating to you that he or they did not see anything. Interesting. Um, bear said uh that he didn't see anything, so. Maybe uh, it's like a illusion, you know, like oasises are sometimes illusions, and then you get lost in the desert. Maybe you just wanted to fight someone so hard that you found somebody in your brain. <laughs> yeah, remember this is hell. It's gonna use your your stuff against you. Do you have a, a irrational fear of samurais? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna look at Bear, but. At two robot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to give you a shrug. <laughs> All right, we'll walk. Lucky I'm telling you, there. creepy dark armor person with long sword is out there. Kitty. Oh, kitty. <gasps> Baby. I like to hold Laser the cat in ways he doesn't like because he, <laughs> he'll allow it sometimes for a really long time. I've started to pick him up and throw him in the air like a baby, and he doesn't seem to hate it um, <laughs> so we can't tell if he likes it or not but he doesn't freak out and he's he's like really afraid of the fan for some reason uh yes so our cats are too yeah <laughs> jennifer has, I remember um a huge scar on uh her under boob from the uh cat freaking out one time because he, uh, he saw the fan it's from over a year ago <laughs> <laughs> Cat's I thought you were gonna say a scar from the ceiling fan. I was like, <laughs> right. I was like, what the hell are you up to? How did you get? It? <laughs> you guys don't. <laughs> um, Just casually doing lifts. Yeah, <laughs> that's sex. Uh, uh, yeah. So, and I have like a scar on my the back of my hand right now. Let me see that. But, Ooh. 
but I think that one's cool. Um, so he's usually pretty good at telling you, ah, which is mostly just him being afraid of the fan, mostly. Uh, so when I'm downstairs and I give him a toss, he's like, okay. Uh, so that's that's what I wanted to impart on you here about the cat yeah. cat content. Um, oh yeah. All right, you trudge along after that short rest, after that um, somewhat um, dubious encounter. Uh, uh, Lulu is trying to communicate that, yeah, you know, um, from what I remember, and again, I don't remember everything, that uh, this 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 landscape can play tricks on you. That being said, mm-hmm. there are powerful enough creatures to have been here and then disappear. So two swords, it, either you're losing it or there's <laughs> someone horrifically powerful stalking you. I hope it's the latter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you continue on your damn way. You pass many other interesting um, um, sights, sounds, most importantly, smells. All the smells are bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, damn it! <laughs> the, the, the shifters of you, it sucks. Uh, but, you know, but also, you know, cats have good sense of smell, and they, and they like, eat cat food and lick their butt, so... It just feels different. This They're more intricate. Yeah, exactly. No. Hyenas are <laughs> hyenas are built like cats. Yeah, they eat rot. One time I tooted directly in Laser's face, and then he just kind of like looked at me and went back to sleep. I'm like, wow, you're in ground zero because he like sleeps in between my legs, and he didn't care. So it was like, all right, now you, he has such a good sense of smell that like everything is like too much. So all I have to say is maybe it's better for you. Yeah. Uh, you see, yeah, maybe this? I love it. Yeah. You see this out in the distance, uh, some rolling hills. You kind of turn, uh, like, is steadily sloping up. And this time, <laughs> before it felt like you were walking up an incline, but you were looking down. Now you're walking up an incline, and you're looking up, and you're like, okay, this makes sense. Uh, and then eventually, after you kind of crest the top a little bit of the current incline um, uh, of the, the landscape, you do see this giant sort of... Um, yeah, as they described it, it's a, um, a hill that looks kind of like a hand grasping out of the ground. And in front of it, I think I actually have some goddamn uh, text to read for you. (laughs) A fortified compound sits atop a low plateau that rises out of a crater pocked landscape. At the center of the compound is a hill of rust colored stone. That resembles a hand crawling out of the ground with gaps between the fingers. A jagged wall made of rock, bones, and metal debris surrounds this hand-shaped hill. Other highlights visible from this distance include a gatehouse, atop which (laughs) stands a half dozen small figures on watch. So yeah, you're about X number of feet away, far enough where it's safe, you know, as you... Uh, are you know uh, making your way there so you're probably outside shouting distance but that is what you see nice um <laughs> karloff <these> waves <laughs> it's like hello <laughs> you sort of see I call the, it <laughs> the uh yeah that figures. wait are they supposed to be our friendlies um well oh gosh so if i remember correctly People here are weird, so um, I don't know if if they if if you're with me, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm still wrapping my head around the concept of a tiny flying gold elephant with wings. Yeah, commenting on something else being weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to expand your mind. I think. Okay, says so it. Says the guy that didn't believe me about the dark warrior no. challenging me. I said that you could have made it up due to the magics of this hell plane, or you're being hunted by a vicious beast. I'm just yanking your cha- your uh, trunk. Oh, there, hey. Lulu. <laughs> Let's go say hi. Okay. Um, the, the yeah the, the half dozen small figures on watch are moving about, kind of like patting each other on the shoulder and, and pointing them out to you. As you get closer. Uh, you notice them as kind of looking like small gnomish sort of um, um, beings, but like fucked up with uh, these comical long red stocking hats 
that sort of um, <laughs> hang behind them. Uh, they're very like angular creatures, big, kind of like Do- Dr. Robotnik mustaches, <laughs> uh, large, um, uh, maybe Dr. Robotnik noses. Uh, with... Are you describing Santa's elves? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Uh, as you kind of get closer, um, Do it, baby. As you, they get closer, you hear, Halt! Who goes there? Uh, like we individually do. or as a group? All of you! Who goes there? <laughs> they look kind of like this. Yeah. Lulu, got? you want to go first? Oh. Um, hi! I oh, am, damn. uh, Lulu. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> what about the rest of you? Who goes there? Uh, yeah, they they call me Beef. Uh, you know, I'm on, I'm a uh, part of the union, one of the guards. You know, oh, I hold up my union union card. <laughs> respect, respect, respect. <laughs> um, dare thee request entrance into Fort Knucklebone? Yes, we yes, dare it. Yes, you. Dare, one of them says and kind of like leans dangerously over the gatehouse at you and and his eyes get huge. Then recite unto me the password. <gasps> she starts using the password. <laughs> <laughs> Please let us in. There's no way that's the password, two swords. Hey. Guest. <laughs> Is the password <laughs> password so you don't forget it? The, this creature keeps scowling at you with evil hate in his eyes. Uh, it, it holds up a long curved sword and it, it just anger throughout its whole body shaking and then it goes <laughs> and then another one slaps him on the head and he like tumbles over and like falls to the ground. It's like ow! And then they, they all the five other ones are like ah! We don't have a password, idiots! Come on in! What are you doing? <laughs> God, look at these fucking idiots! They're so fucking stupid! Uh, did you hear that? Oh, Maggie's gonna be... She's gonna lose her shit when these pair of dumb, dumb dummies entering in. Oh, I'll give you 45 gold if they die, right? Uh, by the end of the day. I'll give you 22 gold if they shit their pants. Bah! And you're just hearing, like, these... And horribly immature uh, hashtag cancelable <laughs> uh, jokes being flung at you guys as you kind of trudge your way through. I'll bet y'all 100 gold each we kick the shit out of whatever challenges get thrown at us today. How's that? <laughs> they stop for a second. Mind your words, fool, or I'll be wearing your pelt. Um, you kind of like oh. inter- well, you know, what's a, what is a pelt? to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> as you kind of enter in underneath the gatehouse, uh, the area enclo- is enclosed by the rampart, uh, is littered with trash and mechanical parts, some put together in a way that resembles a vehicle, maybe. Ramshackle structures built from the same junk as the outer wall, bone, monster parts, uh, metal, rock, things like that, uh, provide shelter. So there's like little like huts around like that. A platoon of small fey creatures mill about, all looking like feral gnomes. Several of them sport tall red caps, some of which drip with vile ichor. A pair Ew! of k- <laughs> yeah, a pair of kinku examine one of the strange vehicles, chattering to each other in a high pitched squawks. These kinku carry an assortment of strange tools. <clears throat> when they see you, they turn and stare and wonder. So yeah, uh, basically, you guys walk in. Um, that's the you know box text from the adventure, and they look at you. Everyone's kind of like the these. They're called red caps. If you, you didn't know. I didn't know they were a thing until recently. Uh, they're pretty mean. Uh, <laughs> they keep like joking at you. Um, uh, uh, 
uh, fucking with each other. Uh, you see like two more fall off the cliffs and one lands in like a really gross bone like shattering thud and like doesn't move anymore for a little bit but like your attention is quickly uh, distracted by something else because this is just yeah very very chaotic uh, with all of the rusted bits of junk everywhere. Um, some of these what appear to be vehicles are like spewing gross uh, black uh, clouds uh, and sort of even glow with an odd greenish light that kind of flicks between green and maybe purple and maybe orange here and there. Uh, but nice. the two kinku look uh, at you. They kind of uh, look at each other, then look at, and their their eyes are directly on Lulu, and and then they 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 shout. Uh, one of the kinku waves in your directions as as if telling you to remain where you are. What a deal! Patience is a virtue. Can't keep the boss waiting. He runs off uh, into one of the trash structures. So, like, there's basically, like, a, a hangar uh, built uh -huh. in between some of the fingies. And outside of there, uh, there's two kinku. The other kinku sort of looks at you with its alien uh, avian eyes and trudges up to you. But the other one basically gave you a stop, wait, and then ran away. Uh, the other one's still looking at you. Looking at Lulu, looking at all of you, kind of uh, definitely <clears throat> given uh, a huge uh, um, uh, uh, kinku sized uh, awe stare at Bear. Uh, definitely taking uh, quite a bit of an interest at him. Um, uh, when a few moments later, um, the other kinku returns, leading a tall creature wearing a long, tattered shift covered in mud, blood, mold, and worse. The hag's eyes seem to move <gasps> independently of each other as she Ew. approaches, her straggly brown hair hanging in front of them. <laughs> Resting on each shoulder are red-eyed ravens that scrutinize your group. Behind her, a hulking creature built of disparate fiendish parts trudges, moaning and hopping as it walks. Then both the eyes' hags focus keenly on your group, and Lulu specifically. My goodness, the hag croaks, spittle dribbling from her mouth. What did we... Fuck. Where do we find such a treasure? Hello, who are you? Welcome to Fort Knucklebone. Hi. Car Karloff is straight up not paying attention. She saw hmm. all the gadgets, and she is just staring intently at all of them, just <laughs> yeah. kind of muttering to herself, like, oh. she is gone. <laughs> I'll for it. Hey. I'm two swords. I call them two swords because I fight with two swords. Uh, we got Nash. We got Karloff, the one, the tinker, the little one over there. This is Beef Johnson, the wizard. I think you might know Lulu. Um, we. Uh... Oh, I know Lulu. Cool. We're the Fang Gang. Except for <laughs> Beef. We, beef. I still, I still got to convince him to let me cut his file his teeth into pointies. <laughs> it ain't happening, bud. Why don't we just get teeth and then graft them in? Yeah. What if Karloff makes you like a grill? <laughs> a grill! We can make you a I grill. Mean, you can just yeah. pop it in. I would name? sport a grill any day of the week. Just like, listen, we got to get diamond fangs in the grill. <laughs> the whole top diamond and the bottom row gold. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, Karloff, the other um, King Coop. Things Not that it matters, but oh yeah, the, I showed you the picture of the two creatures, and remember the the hag here is tall, so this other hulking creature, very big, uh, which yeah, it's just a collection of grossness, and it's sort of uh, hopping along, wheezing and moaning after you. Um, but uh, uh, uh... is he eating the worm? Is it a ventilator? Yeah, it's kind of like a ventilator. A... I got his mouth. <laughs> it's gross. Uh... Uh, is, the, is the hag still there? Yeah, she's looking at you. She just asked who you are. Uh, What's other, your name? The other Kinku is kind of uh, uh, inspecting Bear pretty closely. Um, do I have? Yes, I do. They look like this. They're cool looking bros. Uh, wearing armor. Has like glowing um, uh, mace and uh, spear, with, like a hood and stuff like that between the two of them. They look cool. You, I, they look cool to me, Tim Lanning, and I sure do hope they look cool to you too. Uh, birds are great. I love birds. Yeah, yeah. Ha mm -hmm. As an aside, I whisper, uh, I don't like how she referred to us as a treasure. 
<laughs> oh, darling, I was not talking about you. I was talking about Lulu here. I mean, Lulu's with us, so. I mean, uh, hey, so honestly, kind of forgot why we came here, but uh, I think Faria sent us. You know, Faria. No. Uh, no. Okay, but long and short, we maybe it's a would... cousin of mine. I haven't spoken to them for quite some time. Was she about yay high and powerful with a bunch of fey creatures under her command? Uh, was she, hey, was she y'all? That... No, that was a. I don't think they know about the clerics in the. Because they're oh, cause they the city's not here. normally from there. here. Okay, yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> long and short, uh, we'd like to we'd like to kill Zariel. No, <laughs> my my my, your britches are as big as Avernus is hot. <laughs> and she looks over at uh, this fleshly creature to her right, <laughs> Mickey. Yeah. We have a problem here. We got a couple little badasses on our front porch. <laughs> And it goes. I mean, I'm literally bigger than all of you, except for your like big monstrosity of a friend there. But I'm bigger than like all of you, so I don't know if I'm little. But <laughs> uh, just then, you feel what uh, something wet smack into the back of your armor. Uh, two swords. I turn around. Uh, 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 the rest of you have a small scent of uh, what looks to be dookie. But it's mostly filled, it's like redder, filled with like teeth and blood. And, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's, Ew. it stinks. Ew, weird. David. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, smell and taste. I hate, oh, I hate every that's... piece of this. Rude. Uh, I apologize for my little minions there. They are idiots. <laughs> But please, please, come with me. Let's talk somewhere a little more private. If one of them does something like that again, may I please kill them? Hmm. Just the one who did it. Not all of them. I figure if I kill one, <laughs> the rest will get the message. literally in the text? Mad Maggie understands the nature of these beings, and she does not hold it against the characters if they kill them. <laughs> oh. Especially when acting in self-defense. <laughs> Come with me. My name is Mad Maggie, and I am in charge of this here establishment. I think we have a few things to discuss. Okay. okay. Karloff is going to try and, like, linger behind because she wants to keep looking at all these machines. Yeah. They're unlike anything she's ever seen. Yeah, but I, I think one of the things that might bring you uh, to... Um, follow a little bit more is when mickey turns around you do sort of see on his back what does look like a ventilator pumping um <gasps> uh uh on the, his back and you sort of see like how in another world if you studied you know uh flesh instead of metal that bear and mickey would be very similar um in, in mechanics you know instead of wiring and magic like stones powering through whatever it's a it meat could be robot in a cursed heart with revitalized necromantic uh, flesh or something like that. Y'all, I, I knew a guy who did stuff, made things like that, uh, called himself Dr. Frankenstein. Oh, you must give me this doctor's number. I really want to oh, discuss he this. Dead. This is so bad. Oh. He, he's real dead. Does he have any research that he left behind? Because I would really like uh, to read that. It sounds absolutely fascinating. I've never seen anything like this. Honestly, if a ventilator at the back, that would be so hard to make. Uh, honestly, dealing with flesh is a lot different than dealing with metal. But if I could understand the principles behind it, I bet I could make something even better. You know what? He could use some improvements, honestly, looking at him. Uh, My no. dear, <laughs> stop talking. We have much to discuss. <laughs> I don't know. I find I find Karloff's rants very meditative. <laughs> so, yeah, so she has not stopped muttering under her breath ever since she saw the machines and now she is just like following very closely behind mickey and just like wow incredible incredible <laughs> so um, the, this night hag leads you into the uh this hangar uh it's probably like 40 feet high with various uh, uh, support structures on the outside and then inside yeah it kind of looks like a very chaotic um you know um uh, what i'm thinking of is where they repair the trains um in boston so kind of like ah! your standard take like i guess a where you go get your um uh, oil changed but bigger and rustier dangerous 
Uh, and yeah, there's various other creatures milling about. Most of the creatures milling about are um, these uh, red cap little fey creatures, but you do notice a few others. Uh, you you kind of walk by a, a stall where you see like bright lights coming out, and you um, see what looks to be just like a skull, <laughs> but like as you're following back, like a floating skull. But as you're kind of like being led, and uh, Maggie is sort of uh, idly chatting with you about. Um, yes, this is my infernal works here. I'm sure you've uh, never seen anything quite like it in all the realms. Amazing, amazing. I want to lo- learn more. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, yeah, is, maybe there's an internship program. Yes. <laughs> oh, you guys want to uh, join Mad Maggie's squad? Well, if I could learn a little something from me, that would be quite informative. I am... Very intrigued by everything that you're doing here. Amazing. What a what a knowledge you must have. I would love to pick your brain sometime. <laughs> I mean, if in a circuitous way it would help me achieve my end goal of killing Zariel, then I would be open to such an endeavor. If you want to kill Zariel, my dear, you might want to aim a little lower. That's going to be very hard. Oh, <laughs> uh, Okay. Yeah, he's, he's not going to fight on that. Really wants to kill fair, fair. I guess. I guess. Well, Zarya knows what she was getting herself into when she decided to join as Modius. I'm a bit of a Zarya expert myself. You know, I like to study uh, that warlord. Does Zarya have any weaknesses? <laughs> like a, gl- a glowing point that we could exploit? <laughs> <laughs> My dear, we just uh, met you. <laughs> I simply don't think that I I could tell you that even if I knew it. But I like how wild the group of you are. And plus bringing in this Lulu here, someone I've been very interested in. Is she going to eat Lulu? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it it sounds like you might know some things about uh, Azariel. Uh... Is there maybe uh, something we can help you with to gain some inside information? Uh, she leads you into like deeper into this hangar, and now you've kind of passed the area where it's um, <laughs> the piles of junk resembling um, uh, vehicles. It kind of sw- switches into vehicles that resemble a pile of junk. So it's like, oh, these are obviously this looks like. Uh, a giant covered wagon with spikes coming all around it or like this one has like a cl- a crane on the back or this one has like a weird uh, uh, funnel in front of it that seems to be pointing forward and, and uh, there are a few of them are being worked on by other various creatures you see like an imp uh, two imps sort of arguing with each other as they like um, try to figure out how to fix something and uh, but uh, Maggie kind of pulls your attention to her as she slams uh, her hand down on like a long table like can I offer you something to eat or to drink I mean I'm assuming this is heading towards some kind of side quest thing where you send us out in one of these contraptions <laughs> do you say this so <laughs> <laughs> so like I'm game if uh well, let me ask you if we Sounds like you might have something you need help with. You just talked about us joining your squad. Uh, oh, here on Avon, it's us warlords got to uh, increase our um, um, gang, so to speak. And you, if you've survived so long, and I can smell all the magic radiating off you. Oh, that would be me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be all of us, to be fair. We ain't bathed, I feel like, in days. <laughs> I mean, are we, uh, guys, are we actively looking for corporate sponsorship here? I mean, let's ask you this, uh, Mags, can I call you Mags? No, please, oh, okay. call me Maggie. <laughs> Man, Mags. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's in it for us? <laughs> oh, Mickey, 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 we have some badasses here, I'll tell you. <laughs> You walk into one of the most dangerous places in all of Avernus, and you ask, what is in it for us? I like you. What'd you say your name was? I'm Two Swords. They call me Two Swords because I fight with Two Swords. And you are right about one thing. This is definitely one of the most dangerous places in the world because we're here. Ah! Ah! Damn. Damn. 
she is just leaning back, cackling uh, 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 with mirth and laughter. And she's like, I can't believe you. I haven't seen anything this interesting. And uh, she looks around, like one eye going to um, Mickey, another eye going to uh, Chucka and Clonk. Uh, like, wow, what a day. I thought today was going to be boring. But here we are. <laughs> Well, let me just let you in a little secret. I'm somewhat of a, a collector, dears. If you have anything uh, relating to, I don't know. And she kind of unfurls her long fingers with uh, long, uh, uh, dirty fingernails and points them <laughs> at Lulu. Seems like you have something I want. And um, she waits like a minute, like, no, no, don't go think of anything nefarious. Maggie's not that type of hag, I tell you. <laughs> I simply want what's in here. And she uh, taps her, her, her old noggin. Well, or should I say what's in there? As she taps her noggin and then taps Lulu's noggin. And then Lulu's eyes just do the, like, on the side of her head, like, uh, crosses as uh, Maggie taps her little forehead. You see, this little creature here used to belong to Zario, isn't that right? Well, yes, I, I, I've, I've lost so many of my memories. I'm, I've, I've tried to get some of them back, and I remember some of them, but I can't remember all of them. Ha <laughs> ha! Glorious, beautiful, and delicious. Now this I like. <laughs> well, what about the rest of you? What is your little uh, 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 role in this torrid affair? You know, I mean, I like I said, I I, I hold up my union card again. Like, <laughs> I'm just here protecting the town, honestly. Like, she who grabs knows it from you with an oddly deft finger and then holds it up to one of her uh, eyes. Oh, you're from that little eyesore floating above us. It was above us not two days ago, I believe. Ah, yeah, congratulations the, the... for not being meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny you say that. <laughs> this name this is is me. What? Let me in on the joke. Mad Maggie does not like to be left in the lurch. Well, you you said you said congratulations on, on not being me, and uh, uh, my name's my name's Beef. So your name's Beef. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> by as you know. his horns his own self, this is a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a family name. Huh. Whatever you have to tell yourself. What about the rest of you fine badasses and warriors here? I'm shivering in my boots. Are you cold? Uh, no, no, you there. The, the one with the ears and the scent of the forest on you. What is... That's me. What, uh, what is your role here? Uh, well, my name's Nash. Um, we are down here, if I remember correctly, to recover an item so that two swords can kill Zariel so that we can get Avernus, not Avernus, we can get the eyesore out of Avernus, right? El yeah. El Terrell out of Avernus. Trying to turn two swords into three swords. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, I, I like the way you talk. So I, can, he, I can do <laughs> mage hand now. I can hold a third oh, sword. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> very light 15 pound sword. Uh, so uh, just as a sort of like out of character letting you guys know, uh, you've entered into uh, the real game of Descent into Avernus. Um, oh, shit! Uh, oh, it took us nine months. Yeah, no, <laughs> We did it! I was, you know, rereading st stuff to get ready for today, oh. and I'm like, god damn, I should have skipped everything in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> as cool as it was, oh, no. and I had a blast. I loved a lot of it. Uh, the real juicy bits of this campaign is on Avernus. Uh, something that you're going to have to deal with is who you trust down here um, because uh, you were warned uh, that everyone here, everyone has an ulterior motive. No one here is going to do anything for you because they want to or because it's the right thing to do. Uh, everyone down here who I guess is um, a fixture, so to speak, like I guess it's possible you run into some uh, rival crews of good aligned adventurers. Who are like, we're just here too for some other reason, man. It's wild. Our friend got murdered and we got to go save him or something like that. Um, <laughs> that's possible, but 99% of the people here um, don't think of it as they're trying to fuck you over. 
but you know they're never going to enter into a deal or help you out where they're not getting uh, more out of it. That being said, not everyone wants the same things. Um, uh, we've kind of focused uh, talking about devils, right? And they want souls. That's pretty clear. Uh, Silvara and Candle Keep was most knowledgeable about that. Uh, sh you know, um, for starters, there's nothing on the map that, um, says where Fort Knucklebone is. The map told you that before. So, you know, oh, yeah, you, you yeah. wouldn't have any, uh, information on some of the, I guess you'd say non-devil, uh, or demon, um, players here. So that's just something to sort of enter into. It's kind of like this, right? If you are a millionaire and <laughs> You um, are an arms dealer in um, hell. Uh, uh, you know, it's not always a situation where your concept of value has become skewed. Uh, where, you know, uh, uh, it seems like this um, Mad Maggie seems to collect various things. She seems very interested in uh, Lulu. Uh, you know, and just kind of speaking in generalities, because uh, I don't want to turn you against every single NPC you meet, because you guys are just get yeah. murdered pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> like to this extent, I might like if you guys fought Mad Maggie right now, I would give you a courtesy two rounds, and then I would just RP kill all of you. Like that's the because <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like we don't have time to like <laughs> go through all the horrible creatures here and how you would die type situation. Um, but, but yeah, you know, that's going to be a fun sort of back and forth of, you know, so much of this adventure <laughs> is a contract between, and it's kind of funny cause I just restarted playing persona five and it's that whole thing of like, okay, oh yeah, entered into a contract. So, you know, I'll, I'll give you, this is the first one. It's kind of a freebie. It's an intro into the whole thing. Um, uh, Mad Maggie is sort of, uh, she's sort of idly chit chatting and throwing off sort of braggy one liners here and there. And as she interests, like, uh, you, it seems like she wants knowledge. So, um, beware, uh, a, a, you know, a, a deal too good to some extent, ah. but also beware <laughs> that in places like this knowledge and power sort of, uh, carry their own specific value to the extent that, um, you're not always sure what it costs. It's like, okay, here, food would be very expensive. Uh, knowledge to some things could be worth, you know, who, like everything, worth everything uh, to, to certain people. And, you know, some of the non-devil uh, uh, creatures uh, have a tinge of chaos to the extent that, like, it, they might love copper so much that they would trade you a hundred pieces of gold for a hundred pieces of copper type situation. Gotcha. Oh, jeez. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a fun little thing to... I see smoke outside. Uh, that's a fun little thing <laughs> oh, to oh, no. uh, balance here and there. Tinge of chaos, indeed. And chaos <laughs> yeah. Wow, with the ambiance, someone knows this is happening is like, here you go, brother. Uh, someone's vaping outside. Someone's vaping. <laughs> that's a fat fun. cloud. Yeah, that's a big ass cloud. Uh, it's probably <laughs> just a truck, I assume. Uh, she says, Now, this uh, little creature here used to be Zariel's steed, her little battle fortress on the on the plains of Avernus. And I, I trust you remember that, my little uh, horned winged beast. Oh, that's me. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, yes, I'm sorry. I... I I don't remember you, uh, uh, what is it, Mrs. Mad Maggie? Please, just call me Maggie. We're family now. Um, I don't, I don't believe so. Well, I, for some reason, I'm re my brain is really stuck on keeping these two kinku straight, even though I do not think it matters. <laughs> it's kind of fun to make sure I keep up with that in my own mind. It's a little quest for my own self. Well, Clonk, he, uh, uh, told me about you. You see... Um, you're special. You're Lulu of Zariel's fame. And I myself am somewhat a, an expert on Zariel. And more specifically, Zariel's fall from grace. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Uh, I think that maybe I could help unlock some of your missing memories, dear. I'm a very powerful creature. I'm a hag. <laughs> Has been in Avernus for oh, quite some time. No, don't. You shouldn't speak about yourself that way. You're, 
Lovely. Darling, I've been one of the strongest hags in where I uh, moved from, and I'm one of the strongest creatures in all of Avernus. I, 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 no harm, no shame. I came here because I want to experience a place so dreadful, so awful, that, that, that you can feel it's, it's, it's muttering, it's shame, it's dreary dread in your bones, and it's wonderful. And she breathes deep and exhales. Oh. But tell me, what is it that you want? She slaps her hand on the table again. We could trade. You let me have access to this Lulu's memories. Safely, of course. I don't, I could not destroy something celestial and beautiful like that. I'm only a hag, of course. But uh, what is it that you want? How can, how can old Mad Maggie help you? I mean, hey, that's up to Lulu. I feel yeah. like if you go go in their brain space. I mean, again, I want to kill Zariel. Secondly, it'd be cool to save Elturel and maybe put it back on terra firma, so to speak. You know, not in hell. That'd be cool too. Um, we're real good at killing stuff. Mm. So, like, if there's anything you want killed, and you could help us achieve those two goals, you know. I don't. Anyone else mm-hmm. want to? If anyone else wants to to weigh in here, I mean, I um, feel like I've been pretty straightforward. I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of what the goal is. <laughs> I mean, if you what uh, if you want some improvements on those vehicles, I would love to take a look and give you some of my own improvements because I've been working very hard, and I think I could easily integrate some of them into your cars. Maybe make them go faster. Maybe Ooh. make them go stronger. <laughs> and she just like keeps muttering. <laughs> I like that. You do. You know, I'm a, I'm a little concerned with the, uh, uh, if Lulu remembers being all evil, I mean, is Lulu going to become maybe a little evil again? Like, I don't want to put bad thoughts in that adorable <laughs> elephant's brain. Is Lulu the secret Was Lulu evil? <laughs> uh, I don't know. She was hanging out with the bad dudes. That's usually like, you know, you got the crew. They do evil together. Figure out what she. Lulu's wants. the secret big bad. That's <laughs> true. No, that is true. She does tell you that. Lulu tells you, like, I'm actually the bad guy. She says. Lulu is short for Lucifer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Little Lucifer. It's the things like you yeah. think we have the boss fight who kills Ariel, and then all of a sudden Lulu is like grows 500 feet tall. It's just this monstrosity. I'm like, oh shit, she's gonna eat El <laughs> uh, Lulu becomes Lulu Uzi Vert. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining Lulu, the the gold with all these horrific tattoos and like her uh, main die uh, is good to me. Uh, did you tell Mad Maggie about the sword? I'm sorry. I know you mentioned uh, trying to get two swords into three swords. I did say that. That might have been overly revealing. Uh, <laughs> we, that mean, is all I said. Though. We were we were mooning. Um, I had. As you guys are talking, I had a three Mickey. swords in college once. <laughs> What'd you say? The experimental phase in college, we had three swords. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> uh, the dream. Uh, the uh, large uh, flesh construct hobbles over and puts down a tray uh, of what looks to be somewhat cool water and uh, bread. Uh, and Mad Maggie says, "Help yourself! It is not." As horrible as some of the uh, dross I'm sure you've been drinking, but before you take a sippy, it's not as delicious as uh, what you have on the prime material plane. We simply don't have the magics or the desire to have uh, <laughs> such fancy finery here. For only Chuck and Clonk eat or sleep. Sometimes I try it just to feel it, but I don't <laughs> like it. But you can feel it. Help yourself. Like, you've obviously uh-huh. never been to Flavortown. <laughs> <laughs> we <Flavortown> down here. <laughs> yeah, I told you guys Flavortown. not to read the adventure. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet D and D guy Fieri. Yes. Uh, can Can Carlos sort of like edge towards the two imps that are working on the car and sort of like try and overlook what they're doing? Uh, they're pretty far away at this point. Oh uh, shit! This is sort of in her. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's gonna be very hard for you to. to uh, it sounds like it's gonna be very hard for you to focus, given yeah. <laughs> all the stuff. And occasionally, as she's talking, 
uh, Maggie will sort of like flare out her hand in a way like, you know how someone normally speaks with their hands, right? But she's doing it in a way where she kind of like <laughs> waves her fingers like in front of your head. Not like she's not casting a spell or anything. She's just literally sort of like shaking the keys, which are her fingernails. <laughs> yeah. then, like, you know, Jellyfishing you back in. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. What? Yeah, exactly. And she's, she's, you know, nice enough that she's not being like at you but she's like hey darling she's not even saying anything about it she's she kind of like fluidly uh, draws you back in um Karloff is vibrating her little tail is lashing like you know a cat does <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well it seems to me that uh the two of us can help each other well what do you say lulu and lulu's friends the fang gang allow me to uh unlock lulu's memories and uh well, certainly I can help you find out what's locked with inside that fortress, which will help you, but uh, that seems to be an even Steven trade. So, like, Lulu would keep the memories. You would just also get to know the memories. Exactly. Right now, Lulu, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like you've been afflicted. Hmm. Mm. Yes. Hmm. I smell a little bit of the river on you. <laughs> okay, that makes sense to me. I did not know that. So, I believe Lulu was, uh... Huh. I'll save that for another story. A little bit of flair after we, uh, if you assist me. You gotta leave him wanting more, darling, obviously. <laughs> I mean, that's up to you, Lulu. Um... If you're willing. Okay, I think... Well, I think... If this is where Torm told us to go, and I remember uh, uh, my two Kinku friends being helpful to some extent, so um, I say we do it. I think this Maggie here can can unlock my memories, and we gotta get my memories to to find where the sword is. Yes, darling, if you planted that sword somewhere. We'll find your little X marking spot there. Okay. I, I, feel, I feel like if we're gonna do this, uh, we need to we need to set out. You can you can bring the memories back. You can use the information how you want. But as stated, we're here to kill someone, and we need you to also not get in the way of that with the information you get. <laughs> Darling, I don't care who rules Zariel. In fact, watching Zariel or anyone fall from grace would be ooh, so delicious to me. That works for me. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Well, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This is what I like to see. We're making friends. We're having fun. Do any of you <laughs> um, drink and dine upon the delicious uh, breads? and waters that is put up before you um which i know is like one of the most scary things a, a dm can say yeah <laughs> i feel like beef, thing? beef is a little wary and he'd like to do an arcana check on uh the the drinks offered i'll remind you arcana is not detect magic so uh oh. an arcana check would be like uh ways in which maybe Maybe a if you could probably through your time studying, give a little yeah. tasty. You'd be like, oh, that I is. I mean, Lotus Tuzart has, has a pretty strong tummy. Tum tum. He's got an <laughs> iron tum tum. Yeah, because he really wants to slam one of these glasses, but he's. Oh, just I want to. Oh, listen, I'm Dude, just yeah, bread. Man, after like, B you've only been in um, El Tor or Avernus for a few days now. Well, Beef, you've been in. Fuck, you're yeah. Actually, Beef, you need to give me a check to not down this immediately. I don't know what. I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> how about uh some sort of like stop yourself from doing it check? Wisdom <laughs> saving throw maybe? Yeah, is it a smarts oh, thing or is it like a constitution? I mean, I don't want to fucking. I think put I think it's disadvantage a, with constitution. Yeah, I, but. <laughs> I think it's wisdom because wisdom would be like insight. So, uh, and it's like not intelligence. It's sort of like the ability to know when a good idea is a bad idea, and not like. All right. Well, shit. It doesn't matter anyway. I got disadvantage because I'm exhausted, right? Yeah. Yep. Damn. So, <laughs> uh, that'll be a uh, eleven. Perfect. <laughs> uh, you, without even thinking about it, beef, you unfortunately find yourself as uh, soon as this huge creature puts the tray down. Deep. Um, moderately, definitely. To be honest, uh, my dad. Uh, you drink um, just you down this entire uh, mug of water, and 
you just came, slamming, we're all just like, like staring at him wide-eyed like waiting to see any reaction yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like i full-on just like throw it into my face and yeah. just like, you take <laughs> oh shit fuck no damage it is so good to you <laughs> to you <gasps> it is like the best coldest glass of ice water with maybe a little bit of cucumber if that's how you fuck hot day uh the rest of you seeing beef sort of like down that and then like maybe even reach for the rest of the pitcher or not explode or not do anything what do you do i slam bread yeah, i mean sip. yeah i'd Cooking eat and drink too if he i mean realistically if we saw him do it he was fine yeah, it'd partake well, yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. I mean, simply, <laughs> there simply are no poisons that take more than four seconds to act. So, <laughs> um, uh, at this point, yeah, uh, the rest of you t- take a drink, and um, it, it sort of tastes like you ever if you ever left water out in a cup for a couple days, and it has like a, that oddly stale taste, and it's like warm. Uh, but compared to what you've been drinking, one, there's no sand in it to it just tastes like shitty water not but not shitty pond water not so florida water great florida like water. Lead, like lead pipes <laughs> yeah yeah florida water it does because <laughs> everything here is florida it does slightly smell yeah. sulfur which is the thing in our beautiful there, state uh, a little bit of a blood taste <laughs> like it's whatever <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's still florida so there's floating fingernails and stuff like that no, I'm kidding. It's... <laughs> it tastes like that bull- bullshit like black algae water that they they try to sell you at like health places or it's <laughs> like it's like <laughs> oh, yeah. there might be a little sediment there but that's just a little protein <laughs> uh no uh, the bread also good little um little stale maybe but uh again you know for you beef it tastes 10 times better than it does for the crew uh, for the rest of the crew who have only been here a couple days, you've been here for about two and a half weeks, maybe. We're kind of real loosey goosey in how much time it is, uh, which also works for you because I'm sure you'd have no idea since you have no uh, point of reference. I'm sure it took you several days to figure out how your wands work. And even now, you're occasionally wrong. It's like, all right, they are, I'm sure they're recharged now. And you give them the old shake, you're like, no, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, uh, is there anything you want to ask Mad Maggie? Any other uh, little bits? Because she, you know, I'm not, she's like she, satisfied kind of watching you uh, uh, sup. No, it's... I mean, What's... Beef is a little bit of a foodie. And he's like, is there cucumber in this? <laughs> is there Mickey? You tell me. And he's like, brruh, brruh, brruh. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean... So what's next step? Okay, well, uh, uh, right to business. No pleasure, this one. You wouldn't be very fun. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wink, wink. And uh, she elbows uh, Carl off and, and is winking at you in a way that you have no idea what she means. You don't know if it's <laughs> or what, it, but also not. Um, well, it might take me some time to gather the necessary reagents but i should have them all here i think i think i do i'm not sure i gotta i gotta find out we will lead this little holy font through a dream quest a slight ritual to find out what's locked within her mind palace Ooh. Ooh. okay is that is that a thing we all get to accompany on is this like a uh i I saw a play at the playhouse it was called the uh the magic uh stagecoach uh, where they shrunk the stagecoach down with all the, the students inside and went inside another person's body. I like you, Beef. That's a weird thing to say to someone. But no, no, darling. I, I give me some time. Make yourself at home here. Be mindful of the mad caps and the red caps. They are quite bad. <laughs> Karloff well, raises her hand. Yes, go ahead, darling. Can I go look at those? Can I go look at those machines, please? Please go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, uh, <laughs> she basically like runs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, Mickey, if they need anything, please help them. I will be in my chambers, seeing what I can do. See if I can pull up an old tome or a musty old scroll. Unless you have any other questions from Mad Maggie. I mean, oh, uh, two. Oh. I got two. Go ahead, you two swords. You? <laughs> funny uh one have you ever seen you know anything about a weird warrior in dark armor running around out in the desert with a long long curved sword 
that makes is very rude. Uh, and you know anything about that? Well, that just that simply describes many people on here. But oh lord, if you have uh, oh, the attention of uh, one of uh, a corrupted hell rider, oh boy, oh boy, do I feel bad mm. for you. Oh, no. Good to know. Corrupted Hail Rider. I don't know okay. uh, <laughs> if there's that. more than one, and I'm not a foolish Maggie, so I'm not going to name any names just in case I'm wrong. And then you go hunt them down and said, Mad Maggie brings her regards, and then <laughs> who knows what would happen to me. So I will let my ignorance be your ignorance. But yes, okay. there are several people like that around. Cool. Second question. <laughs> You haven't seen, you haven't come across a, a goblin covered in tattoos, <laughs> carried a big piece of rebar. Uh, I mean, small because a goblin, but big for a goblin. <clears throat> um, probably tried to buy your soul. <laughs> let's see, let's see. No, I did not. I, not that I know of. Mickey, would you see anyone like this? And Mickey was kind of like, sort of hops on one foot. Like, I don't know what you're saying, but we have fun. Isn't that bad? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm I'm kind of a, a bit of an studious kind of guy. Uh, I know I don't look like it, but uh, you know, uh, if you got a library cool full of cool magic books, um, mind if I mind if I join you and take take a look around? Let me see if I do. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything quite like that here. Maybe if you talk to some of the denizens, they might have some um, various scraps hanging out. But uh, I'm reserving one of my level up spell slots for like maybe I'll find something cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, but you're like, well, with that, this has been. Woo! It's much like four of my birthdays and leap year all rolled into one seeing all of you here. I love it. I love it. We're having fun. Finally. Well, I knew this was going to be an interesting time after the great eyes soul came, but, well, none of that little gifts were given to us here at Fort Knucklebone. Yeah. I mean, it it might be an eyesore now. The public works funding has gone down since <laughs> we arrived. Uh mm. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself at home. Talk to some of my uh, friends here. I'm sure they might be able to assist you with various things. I don't know. Uh, but uh, especially that one's already run off and talking <laughs> excitedly. I'm sure the rest of you can get up to no good. Uh, Beef, you might want to speak to Barnabas. He might have some Ooh. information for you. I don't know. But also, he gets lonely, so I like to send people his way from time to time. And we don't get people from time to time. <laughs> okay. I will go find Barnabas. Thank you. All right. Let's do Karloff first. Uh, beep, bop, beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. Uh, okay. So you kind of get up to run back to where you thought you saw the imps. And you see the two uh, Kinku um, arguing <laughs> over um, a particular um, infernal machine here. Uh, uh, they're speaking in whatever it is kink you speak when they're not mimicking. Uh, so I don't know if you speak that. Let me look that up. That's kind of curious yeah. to me. Just for fun. And I'm not going to do the fucking kinku thing as much because that's tiring. <laughs> uh, um, oh, they understand Orin and common, but only speak mimicry. So yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yes. I kind of feel like kinky would still have their own version of yeah. Speech. Uh, beep, bop, beep, doop, boop. Uh, yeah, so they're kind of arguing back at each other. And when you show up, they look at you like, what can we do for you, friend? Uh, hello, I'm Karloff. Can I look at this wonderful machine? Well, I have been dying to take a peek. Well, you can. But <gasps> the issue is that uh, we can't get this damn thing to work at all. <gasps> do you mind? Do you mind if I take a little peek? Sure. This is a demon grinder. Uh, right here. It's, it's, uh, he slaps this hunk of metal. You can fit so many demon grinders in this bad boy. <laughs> it, it makes demon sausage? 
<laughs> what kind Ooh. of? Uh, yeah, it, uh, they keep going back and forth. Like, yeah, it's it's just not functioning. This demon grinder is supposed to be able to uh, chew up, spit out all sorts of stuff, and Mad Maggie's gonna friggin' tear our ass in uh, a new one if we don't fix it. And uh, you know, our whole thing is frickin' repairing these if we don't do it. Well, what else are we? We're just two birds who's been living in hell for a long time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Whatever. That's cool. Um, I can, I can definitely fix this. I can definitely help you out. And she's gonna pull out all her tools, and just like nothing can stop her. Okay. She is going to work on this until it is fixed. <laughs> the player explaining to the DM. I don't care how many times you ask me to roll, my character is yeah. not moving. From She's this. not gonna impart any like negativity. You can, so uh, you still are um, exhausted, uh, mm -hmm. but you know, well, well, I think we might have a little fun with that uh, here. But we'll kind of see how it goes because I, I think it is such a fun gift to have the uh, specific like artificers, you know, fuck with these things. Uh, you look over the um, 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 machine of which they call the Demon Grinder. Here's roughly an artist sketch of what maybe it looks like, maybe it doesn't, you know? Because again, these are all sort of uh, pieced together yeah. by like, hunks of junk and things like that. I'm sure you, you've maybe seen these online or, or uh, being sold by um, whiz kids. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah they, they are anchorly back and forth saying well it's obviously the blah 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 it's the it's the johnson core no it's the the charles rot no you simply put we don't have enough goose eyeballs here um and as you're kind of poking around they they are almost more uh, a pain than a help because they're just flitting back and forth and then they kind of like uh just like two twins bickering over and over and over again. Um, uh, give me a um, uh, 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 intelligence arcana or investigation check. Or I okay. guess if you have Tinker's Tools, you can do, do that too. I do have Tinker's Tools. Uh, let me go ahead and I will give you arcana. And I roll with this advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, first one's a 15. Second one's an 18. Okay, 15 plus 6 is a 21. Okay. So after about 10 or so minutes, you're looking around. Uh, and yeah, as you get underneath some of this more um, infernal iron, and I use that term with a capital I and a capital I, uh, because it's not. it looks to be sort of hammered out, smith forged iron, that is like thicker, darker, yada, yada, yada. And it seems to have its own properties uh, that you're not quite used to from the, the primary terrier plane. And you, have, you don't have time to like dig into like what makes it different, yeah. but it just feels different. You see uh, um, uh, a gear in, uh, deeper inside comp comprised of the spikes of a Hezro demon. <gasps> uh, and it's kind of pulsing with demonic energy. Uh, looking at it deeplier, you realize that uh, <laughs> it still has too much latent demonic energy pulsing out of it. And that is what's sort of clogging up the, the works here. You're not too sure how this thing fucking works, but it's when you are kind of narrating what you're looking at going forward in the way that you normally do. Um, it, you definitely feel like you're on the right track uh, when you mention this <laughs> as Chuck uh, and Clonk are like, wait a second. Mm -hmm. uh, they can just hear me start to laugh under <laughs> under the car because I am so delighted. <laughs> and I sort of roll myself out and said, I think I found the problem. Come here. And she's going to gesture for them to also like get under the hood. Okay. And she said, you see that gear right there? That's your problem. It has too much magical energy, and she just like starts to go on one of her monologues. Uh -huh. She does not care if they can follow her or not, but she will start to give her theories on why it could help or hurt this particular machine. Uh, one of them, the only real easy way to tell the difference between the two is one has a cloak and a pike, and the other uh, has like kind of armor and like a glowing um, uh, 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 warhammer. Uh, and, uh, the one with the pike is kind of like, oh, wait, but I mean, so yes, we need the demonic energy to fuel this, but we need to focus it the right way. Oh, and yes, I see, precisely. And, uh, and it's, it's freaking mucking up the rest of the gears. So if we could dispel its magic 
or remove its curse or something like that, I bet we could fix this. Yes, precisely. Once you do that, let me know how it turns out because this is just very theoretical right now. And I really would like to know from my own research of how that gear works. <laughs> and if you see that uh, machine over there, his name is Bear, and I would like to maybe input something like that because I don't know if you can tell, but I am a tiefling. So maybe some of the infernal stuff I could work with because, you know, my. Could you help are... us remove it? Do you have any magics yourself? Yes. Yes. <laughs> She is, uh, she is in heaven, uh, and she will definitely try to help uh, right. remove that curse. What, do you, what, what thoughts you got? What's your thoughts? Let's see. Um, I can make you another arcana roll, or let me look at my spells. Yeah, there's a couple things that the book calls out specifically from spells, but you know we're in, we're in each other's mind palaces, so you know we can figure this out. Yeah. Let's see. And obviously, if the rest of you. Or would have followed, you know. Please. Yes. I have lesser restoration, but that's just diseases. <laughs> um, let's see. I have... I'm trying to think, because, like, Absorb Elements is just for <coughs> actual things. I have Mending. I could always use Mending, mm -hmm. if that... But that's, like, different. That's, like, just pure mechanical. Yeah, that's, like, putting... It's, like, yeah. blue, kind of. Yeah. Nash still has remove curse. Oh, yeah. oh. So if you find me walking around, you could probably just be like, remove the curse like this, and then run away. <laughs> yeah, 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 probably. I would, would you, just yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, Would you do that? <laughs> yeah, I would wheel myself. I, I imagine she's like laying on one of those little wheelie things yeah. that like people do when they go in the car. <laughs> like wheeling yourself backwards. Yeah. Our camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Nash, I'm sure you're on your way to do something horrifically interesting and important, but you all of a sudden <laughs> see uh, a wheeled out uh, call off come to you. Nash, Nash, please, I need your help. I, okay. There is this wonderful machine, and one of the gears has a big curse on it. And if I could get your help to remove it, then this car would work, and I could take a closer look at it, and that is everything that I've dreamed. Please, please, Nash, I will do literally anything to get your help on this, because it is so exciting, and I've never seen anything quite like this. And she okay. just won't shut up, as she's, like, dragging you back. Okay. <laughs> I go. <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> like, put your halberd out just to, like, let her hold on to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, Nash, you get there. You're not entirely sure, but, like, you know, this whole fucking thing just reeks to you. Your, your, the feeling that you felt from uh, the shield uh, obviously oh, yeah. has been kind of chaotic as you're down here. Uh, and you feel another similar sensation, you know, coming from everywhere. But as you're getting your snoot, like, shoved into this little spiky gear yeah it's like okay this is the closest you've been to um a, an uncovered source of some of this fiendish aura and yeah if you cast remove curse i think that should have a good chance yeah i put a it perfectly good chance but i had to like you know make sure <laughs> you <can> think. <laughs> i put i put the thing in my hands or whatever and yeah, like kind of like put your hands to some of the spokes of the spiky thing. yeah and then i remove curse on it Okay, so let's and say I go, that, yeah, it, yeah, it probably takes upwards of 30 minutes to an hour um, to kind of get all of it right. Uh, um, go ahead and also cast Lesser Restoration 2. We'll count yep. it sort of as like spending resources and things of that nature. Not that it matters. You'll probably be able to sleep again. But, you know, that's for me to know and for me to not tell you just now. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that is what the two of you are doing. And uh, we have only a few more moments. But if we want to, is there anything else that um, B for Two Swords wants to do? Uh, you see uh, Mickey, the flesh golem, kind of hopping and moaning at some of the madcaps. The madcaps are running around. There's those two imps. And then there's the flame skull. Um, that I mean, Two Swords so just... Far. She sort of just off in the distance as Karloff leads Nash away. You see him over by an open area with his shirt off, and he just kind of throws his hands up like, oh, man, I thought we were going to do some training. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, I know, uh, uh, Beef, did you want to talk to Barnabas? Yeah, I think Beef, Beef was hunting down uh, Barnabas okay. um, for that convo. And two stars, is there anything you want to do? Because we'll probably just do a quick uh, check in with Barnabas and then check quick check good. in with two swords. Nash, I mean, anything you want to yeah. do? Um, uh, let's go to let's go. To, I'm just gonna put that seed in there and then we'll yeah, see. put that seed in there and then you go ahead. Okay. So, uh, yeah, beef, you walk over to this little hut, a uh, little shack, little little side shack inside the bigger hangar, I guess you'd say. Uh, and yeah, it is a glowing, floating uh, skull 
which looks a little beautiful, something like this, uh, to you, muttering to itself, well, if I put this here, maybe then this will work. Blast it all, damn it, damn it, damn it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Beef is, like, stunned by how dope the floating skull looks. Yeah. He's like, oh, dang. That's, that's a good look there, bud. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. And as he's, ta- I'm not gonna do it, but as he's talking, uh, he's unfortunately making like a small whistling noise. Uh, <laughs> a, a very classic cartoonish. He, you see, he's missing a tooth in his, the, his, the front of his gob. Uh, and as he says that, as he's talking to you in uh, in your own personal mind palace, imagine I'm doing the cartoonish whistle noise. Oh, good to meet you. Ooh, look at you. Aren't you a, a big wizard? What is your name? Yeah, my, they call me Beef. Uh, that's because my name's Beef, but you know everyone also calls me that. So. <laughs> I'm Barnabas. Hello, great to meet you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're uh, I'm I'm a, a good friend of Mad Mag. She sent me over to talk to you. Said you might uh we, we might kick it off. You know, uh, ma- magic people. Oh yes, I'm a horrifically powerful and smart wizard. Where did you study, my boy? Uh, you know, I was grew up in Elturel, uh, you know, just... <laughs> Elturel hasn't created a decent mage, wizard, or witch in a thousand years. Nope. The two walking well, the straight and narrow, you know what I mean? You know, uh, some of us only have community college, uh... <laughs> 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 you know, you, uh, you, you, do, you do the best you can with what you got. <laughs> you do, not me. I make the best even better than what I have. <laughs> and again, it's just a floating skull kind of uh, situation. What can I do? Did, for uh, you? did Beef go to Jade Vale Community <laughs> College? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know what? I, I found myself with a bit of uh, wandering time here uh, in Avernus and, uh, you know, I've been trying to trying to study some uh, new spells, and uh, figured you know somebody who's been here uh, using magic in this in this place uh, might maybe have some. Uh, maybe we could do a little uh, exchange of knowledge, a little tete a tete. Right, right, right. I no longer have my spell book, but I'm sure I can uh, dumb it down enough for so that even you could understand something from me. Damn. <laughs> you know <Jesus>. what? <laughs> I'm not even going to take that as a as an insult because I was a C student at uh, Community <laughs> College. <laughs> uh, he says, "Well, uh, as this is hell, we uh, we uh, can't give anything for free. I mean, I could. I have a lot to give, but you s- see, I need you, something. You've got a kind <laughs> smile. <laughs> well." He kind of like his uh, eyes burn brighter and and uh, his uh, glowing orange or sorry glowing uh, green fire kind of goes red for a second and he shakes. I used to have a glorious and beautiful smile, but those goddamn little imps over there. And then he points not at the imps but at the uh, red caps. Uh, they stole my tooth. <laughs> they stole my tooth. And that's where we're going to end. Today's adventure. Shit! They stole my two. Do we get to Mad Max next time? Huh? Are we going to get to Mad Max Fury Road next time? <laughs> Mad Maggie Fury Road. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is one of the major influences of this. Adventure. Mad Maggie Angry Lane. Yeah. Angry Lane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if there's anything that Nash and Two Swords wants to do next week, make a note of it because there's other various people they can talk to, uh, or not, or no. whatever. Not a big whoop. You live your life. Are we gonna be shirtless together? That'd be yeah, great. Yeah. No, I mean like he would just be like, if he has downtime, he'll just use it to train. Actually, make sure his sword, short, swords are sharp. Yeah. And he's you know limber and stretched, and yeah, he would just Perfect. train. Cool. And uh, Nash will be there to help you with your stretches. Yeah. Make sure you do like the one where like you're laying on the ground, and then like I'm pushing your leg up. Yeah. You need to for that. That's a safety. Yeah, you have to have two people for that. Yeah, like I'm like like kneeling in front of you, and like my legs like over your other one, and I'm like leaning <laughs> yeah. into your hip. Uh, <laughs> probably while you're doing that, you're constantly getting rocks thrown at you. Uh, maybe there's like a balloon 
hovering over you with like a comically large <laughs> anvil or hammer <laughs> and you see <laughs> one of those red caps with a, a slingshot is waiting. Uh, but that's where we're going to end it for today, friends. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here at 2 p.m. Uh, bad news. There is more. Uh, this is going to probably keep happening, unfortunately, because of you know why. And for other very reasons. Uh, there's a sickness in the family. Uh, so we are no uh, gap cast tonight. Um um, mm. but, uh, any thoughts, prayers, good vibes you can send to our vague way to keep, uh, you know, I don't think everyone wants their business out on the internet. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, right now the cast is fine, but, uh, just, uh, you know, um, any good th vibes you can send to, uh, all the cast and, exp uh, and so forth. That would be, uh, nice. I believe Bachman is doing something special. Let me look it up real quick. <gasps> Special Bachman stuff. He's gonna be like shirtless on cam or something. <laughs> yeah, nude, dog. Um, oh, I should teach Bachman how to twerk, and he can do that on stream. <laughs> uh, all right, no greens adventurer stream tonight for various reasons, but Mike Bachman and J High Five will be taking over the stream at seven thirty CST to do something a little different. Come check it out. So uh, yeah, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, they're doing something weird. I don't. I actually don't know what it is, but. Uh, it sounds cool. Those are good people. Um, boopy, did boop, boop, boop. Uh, we'll see you next week at uh, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you again, everyone who donated. Uh, you can still go to, I believe, geeklyinc.com slash Trevor to get um, delicious um, donations for the Trevor Project um, because, you know, we have our, our, our weekend-long stream, but then we try to raise more throughout the year, but we understand. We understand, brother. It's fine out there. It's weird out there. Uh, there's some other fun news coming down the pipe, which I'm um, I'm sure some will be bittersweet. But, you know, we're going to have a lot of good, fun stuff for you, and this are uh, most interesting times that we are living in now. Please, the rest of my fine, hellish friends, can you uh, plug your pluggables and whatever else you have? Or... <laughs> I want to shout out, obviously, you guys, we've talked about it, Brett and I do, but three watch, fun show. I want to shout out um, a good friend of ours, Case. Uh, he might be in the chat. He is uh, Quetzalcoatl, is his, uh, but today he's there. But he has a podcast called Scruffy Nerf Herders. It's a Star Wars themed D&D ish role play podcast. The most recent episode is part one of two, where Brett, myself, Ash, and Sam from Rewatch all guested for a two part special. Highly recommend. Go check it out. You don't have to know what's going on in the rest of the story at all. It's a standalone mini adventure. Nice. And if you want to hear part us, one's out, part two's coming. Yeah, if you want to hear us be a bunch of, uh, I don't know, space drug terrible drugs. people. Yeah, space drug dealers at yeah. Space Firefest. <laughs> <laughs> go check it out. It's a lot. Of, we had a lot of fun. Uh, very a lot of a lot of chaotic manic energy in there. Yes, scruffy and nerf herders. Yeah, Scruffy Nerf Herders, that's the show. Uh, I'm actively trying to order merch from China, and it's difficult to, really? to, to negotiate because they're like, you know, you can order this many. I'm like, all right, well, then I want that with the label on it. And they're like, oh, now you have to order 100 of them. And so it's like, anyway, <laughs> but it's going to happen. We'll get we'll get some cool, hilarious drug-themed yeah. merch. Eventually. I'll <laughs> let you know when we get it. Um, but yeah, let's rewatch. That's That's our main gig. Check us out there. Follow me on Twitter at Red Eagles. Nice. We? We? I have nothing me. to plug other than my Twitter. Yes, plug your Twitter. <laughs> at Josh Geth. Find me. Know me. Uh, I find terrible things and send them to Tim and Kim and them. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we are blessed for it. Our lives are enriched. <laughs> Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Kim Caddies. That's at K-Y-M-C-A-T-T-Y-S. Uh, you can also listen to me and Tim talk about Naruto along with our friend Jesse on Naruto Revito. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. We always have a good time. Yes. Uh, it's a blessing. Also, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also listen to me and my hot husband, Ben, and our friend Ben to talk about anime on Transformation Sequence. We're taking a bit of a hiatus right now because... Everybody involved in that show uh, has had bullshit happen to them. So we'll get back to it mm. starting pretty soon. You can also listen to me on Love to Hate podcast, which is me and my friends talk about things we love and things we hate. 
Also, you can listen to me on Monster Hearts, not Monster Hearts, Witcher Crest Podcast, which is a Monster Hearts real play podcast where we are horny and dumb, and I love it. Hell yeah. Uh, right you can find me on Twitter at Tim Lanning, um, which is, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a great, I'm hilarious, I'm awesome. Um, hilarious. So that would be good. Is it, did, was that everybody? Was that everybody? Was that everybody? I really like that meme that comes up every once in a while with your face looking off in the distance. I gotta, I gotta do one. <laughs> yeah, not going outside has really uh, slowed those down. So, <laughs> see if I can get one of those again. But with that... you see, we're on your house, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is a purpose of nothing. I just want to really sh- want to shout out the show Dispatches from Elsewhere. Everyone, go watch it. It's a one-time thing. Okay. It's Ten episode season. It just finished Monday night last night. It's Unlike anything you'll watch, it made me uh, come to the verge of tears multiple times throughout the show. It's beautifully acted. It is unlike anything you watch, and it's just you're all you're committing to is ten episodes. It's a one and done miniseries. Oh, Dispatches yeah. from elsewhere. It's beautiful. Pat doesn't cry for nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> All right, then. Well, we will now be shutting the stream off, and I love you. Have a great day. See you next week. Do something good for yourself or someone else. Or, yeah. All right. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Bye. There it is. AMC.